with with a lot of actors, uh, you know, or certainly actors with 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 integrity, um, you know, they 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 want to do good work as well. They 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 they're drawn to good stories. They're drawn to good scripts. And um, uh, and yeah, we were uh, we yeah you know, we feel extremely fortunate to have got uh, such a great cast, and they they've been super supportive as well. I mean, uh, we had the premiere on Wednesday, and um, and and Jared's film uh, filming out in New York at the moment, um, and flew over for like two or three days so he could come over and do some press, mm -hmm. attend the the premiere. Um, you know, Juliet as well have been do, doing lots of interviews. Uh, I mean, all all of them have been all three of them have been 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 massively supportive for the film, which is uh, uh which is, which is great. They've been and they were just yeah. just brilliant to work with and and, and amazing amazing actors they they put in such good performances just captivating to watch them yeah, yeah it's, you can feel the tension from the trailer and it's basically is is it her is she still alive it, yeah well there, know, it's the, the thing the there you can hear that in the trailer mm. that the the, the 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 dad is is doesn't he wants to believe it but isn't sure the mum is so desperate to believe it that she does and she doesn't want to drive the girl away again it was interesting. I was just telling the premise of the film to our team and Georgia, our producer. And they said, "So is it her in the end?" I said, "Well, I'm not going to tell you that, am I?" <laughs> I've, I've had friends ask me. It's such a weird thing to uh, ask. It's well, like I remember someone. Of it. Yeah, so I remember someone spoiled the Sixth Sense for me once. And yeah, you, and, then, <laughs> and then you watch it. But you know, ultimately, it's you know, it's a film. There's there's a mystery element to it. It's a it's a suspense. It's a thriller. Mm. Um, uh, and it's and it's a psychological drama as well. I mean, it, and and it's it's really you know it, it's about it's about love, it's about memory, it's about loss. Um, you know, I think it's about themes that 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 everyone can can relate to. Had you had you were you involved from the start? I, mean, I know you've not. Although we know you as a stand up, you've done other stuff as well. You do a lot of writing and and you've produced stuff in the past as well. Yeah. But. Is this a bit of a departure for you? It's the it's the first feature film uh, that that I've produced. So uh, the the writer director Virginia Gilbert, um, we had worked together. Um, we 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 met through her husband is a is a comedian Keith Farnan, um, and uh, and and we met and we were talking about a couple of projects and we did sort of towards the end of lockdown we did a. Um, a little short, it was a little sort of period short um, with with just a two hander with Shakespeare going back to visit his daughter when he a sort of younger William Shakespeare, and we were able to film it outside in um, in Oxfordshire, so we could film it outside, and it was you know it was easy to do during during lockdown. It was just a project um, that, that we could get into, yeah. and um, and we had uh, Max Irons, Jeremy Irons, son was was in that, and and a lot of the same crew. We did another short after that as well, and um, a lot of the same crew ended up working on the on the feature as well, including Giles, the the DOP and uh, uh, Derek the editor so uh, we sort of kept that team together and uh, uh, but yeah it was it was it was a first feature a bit of a, a baptism of fire yeah. um and uh, so giving I, you a taste for it you want to do more yeah no I'd love to yeah and because uh, you got this way quite quickly can mean often people have yeah, come the in whole process from can be, yeah the distribution you, can be really yeah. long yeah, we we um we did we moved quite quickly on it. Um, so uh, the 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 script um was was written sort of during lockdown. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we we filmed in in twenty twenty two, which again still sounds like a long time ago. And we filmed in the in the hottest week of uh, <laughs> uh of of the year in July. So we were and when when you're sort of watching budget as well, everything you know you've got some sort of mm. contingency in that budget for things, and then suddenly that's getting eaten up with oh that location costs more than I thought. And then we were worried about COVID as well because yeah, at that point we were sort of outside. There was like there was a government insurance scheme to help uh, mm. TV and films uh, restart, um, and uh, but that had run out. So right. and you couldn't get insurance either because there was so much of it around. And then we then Jared uh, Harris got COVID at one point, and we had to halt production. So it was it was it was quite. Quite stressful, wow. um, mm. but um, but yeah, that no, was relatively quick. And then uh, we we premiered at the Dublin Film Festival earlier this year. Um, uh, we've got a couple of festivals coming up: Newport Beach and uh, and Dinar in in France. And you've uh, had some good reviews, I see. I was reading a couple today. Yeah, we've, we've had some so far. Uh, we've had some lovely lovely reviews. We've got a four star in the in the Times today, and got some lovely reviews from Ireland from after um uh, after the Dublin Film Festival. So it's, it's out today. So where can people go and see it? So it's out today uh, in cinemas across the country. Um, uh, so if you go to uh, reawakeningfilm.com, there's mm -hmm. a there's a tickets button on there that takes you to, um, you know, you can put in your area and you'll see the the, the, the nearest cinema to you. Yeah, really? So across uh, across two nil down on Sunday after ten minutes, go and see yeah, the I movie. might go and watch it. I'll leave the ground and just <laughs> yeah. go to the local <laughs> yeah. cinema, go and watch it. <laughs> so um, how are you how are you feeling about life under end? I haven't seen you for a while, Barry. How do you feel? Are you still a believer? I'm, I I am. I mean, I, I do I do worry about the uh, hesitancy there. I, you know. No, because I really yeah. want it to work because yeah. I love him and I, I just worry about the high line and I just worry about us getting a bit exposed 
exposed at the back, but I, uh, I, I do like it. It works, doesn't it? It really does. It's oh, really it's, exciting to watch. Yeah. It? It's, it's, it's brilliant to watch when it works. Mm. Uh, and even that, uh, you know, that, that turning point last season with the Chelsea game, even then, like, it was still exciting when we were down to ten men, the nine men yeah. <laughs> at one point. It was but exciting, yeah. I, I just, you know, I, I, I was speaking to a, a, an Everton fan the other day and he said, like, he, he was saying supporting... Everton uh, is like being in a in an abusive relationship, and I was like, supporting Spurs is is more like just being in a in a quite boring long term relationship where <laughs> where you love them, you know, and you go, well, you know, they're never going to change. Yeah. You know, they're never going to change. You don't expect too much. Yeah. 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 you go, you're going to have some good times, and you know, there were some good times in the past, but but ultimately, yeah. you go, you, you go, I've signed up for this now, and I'm in it. I'm oh, in it till when I die. you've watched North London derbies as long as we have, you know, there's always been times when. T- them have a bunch of injuries and we say we got no chance I remember going to, walking to the ground for the last one and finding out I can't remember the play it might have been Kane who was out you find it on the way there he's not quite fit he can't play and we've always said oh that's up we've lost it somehow we put a performance in and I'm sure Arsenal will be exactly the same they might be shorn of two or three of their best players but they'll still put in a a shift you just, and it's just so hard to know which team's going to turn up for us mm. you know um, uh, because we just seem to lose confidence I mean that, that Leicester game first game of the season I mean it was such a one sided game and then they scored the equaliser and, and suddenly for the next 10 oh, minutes yeah. momentum uh, shifts yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's one thing they are that is an issue which you never see with City no. you, you get one back against City you of, just, I mean Chelsea do that too yeah. so but you just, you just that. annoy them and then they regroup and they come and give you a good hiding I mean that's when you know you've arrived when you can do stuff like that well they just keep playing the, the way that they play and they have confidence yeah. uh, whereas you know it, it, it felt like we need to like last season, we needed to go a goal down before we performed, and 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 then so far this season, it just we just start to look a bit shaky. I mean, yeah. not the uh, not the Everton game, obviously, but you take the draw now tomorrow. I, I mean, no, there you go. I'm <laughs> oh, going to be bullish. I'm going to be bullish. Good. I'm going to be bullish. No, <laughs> no, I would. I wouldn't right now because uh, you know you never know, do you? You, you want the three. Know. It does feel like a big game, doesn't it? I mean, because you know Arsenal got a big week ahead, and if they can kick it off. With a win against Spurs, they'll they'll be up and they'll be a, a little bit closer to City. Otherwise, they could be eight points behind City by the end of the City game next weekend. So, and it's big for us because there are a few people questioning whether it's working quite as quickly as they thought it would, and whether the the team, the first team, is strong enough. Maybe and the work they did in the windows left the first team strong enough. I'm so. quite interested to see how Spurs go in Europe this year because they've thrown it away a bit in the last yeah. few years, and I think especially in in the in, in the, the UEFA like, Cup, yeah, Europe, not in the league. Champions League. Obviously, no. they did well to get. To the no, final. they have. They've been they've been rubbish, especially but away from home it, in that UEFA Cup. It's, it's more, you know, the, the, sort of the league. Yeah. It's more now because you can get into the Champions League. It's more worth winning. The manager it? said he is going to shake it up, though. He's going to play sort of probably different teams. So. That, well, that's the thing. It's like, do you do you treat it as an, as a bit of an experiment and give those other players a run out mm. um, at, at, the, at the you know and, and worry about possibly possibly losing the game and being out of the cup or or you know or do you play your strongest team and possibly have them yeah. knackered for the weekend? Mm. I mean, that's yeah, the thing. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs Monday to Friday afternoons one till four on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.